name is Diane Bish and I would like to welcome you today to the Joy of Music. As host of the program for over 14 years, it has been my privilege to work with many great artists, each with a unique life story. One of the most amazing of these life stories is that of Sung Suk Lee Soprano, who was born in Korea, came to America, studied at the Juilliard School of Music, and found great success in the field of opera. But her story doesn't end there. On the Joy of Music today, we bring you excerpts from a new musical drama on the life of Sung Suk Lee. It has been my privilege to compose and arrange the music as well as to accompany Sung Suk Lee in her story and song. This is my story. This is my in Korea. I was third from five girls. Myung-suk, Hyun-suk, Sung-suk, Chang-suk, and <laughs> Why so many girls? Because my father wanted a boy. <laughs> oh well, he got me. He named me Song Suk. Song means sound or song. Suk means clear. So my name in English is Clear Song. My parents were devoted Christians. My father would rise at four o'clock every morning. He would walk miles to church in all kinds of weather. My mom's daily prayer life was, whenever she finds moments, she would pray sitting in a room, rocking back and forth. She would sing her favorite hymns, over and over with her eyes closed. That was her daily prayer life. Though her voice was a squeaky, even now when I sing her favorites, it brings tears to my eyes. Oh, 
I attended that Christian school where chapel services were held each week. One day my music teacher summoned me and he said, Songsuka, you have a natural God-given voice. I urge you to study music and become a professional singer. After my teacher encouraged me to study voice, I began to aspire to get to America because I knew the best music school in the world was in New York. There I could study and become an opera singer. There I could make something of myself. Then I could bring my family to the United States and lift them out of that poverty. I was still a very innocent teenager. I had never flown in an airplane before, never been outside my hometown before, never been away from my parents' guidance before. I said goodbye to my friends. I said goodbye to my sisters. And finally, the moment arrived. I said goodbye to my mom and dad. We all hugged and cried together. I said my farewell not knowing it was the last time I would see my dad on earth.
I came to America with one suitcase to the land of my dreams. My audition with Julia, the School of Music, resulted in a full five-year scholarship. Upon completing my training at the Juilliard, I received a contract with the world-renowned Columbia Artist Management. My opera career started immediately. My first year, I made my debut at La Scala in Italy, Covent Garden in London, and the New York City Opera at the Lincoln Center in New York. Never once did I perform a supporting role. My career was a soaring. Flame was flowing. Reviews were boosting my ego. I had pride, money, and fame. I had everything I wanted. I moved my family to New York. I made it to the top. My dream had to become a reality. Opera had become my god! <laughs> While performing in Europe and planning the next opera house to conquer my phone rang. It was a call from home. My mom had suffered a massive stroke. She was in a coma. I flew immediately to her bedside. My mom had been a very healthy lady. For two weeks she lay unconscious, unable to speak or recognize anyone. Every morning, I would go to her bedside in the hospital, trying to communicate. I would read a little Korean Bible to her. I would ask her to forgive me for any hurt I had brought to her. 
I would put my mouth close to her ear and sing her favorite hymns. When my mom went to be with the Lord, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, or I couldn't do anything. Yes, I was lost. Finally, one night, I dragged my miserable self out of the bed and crushed down on my knees and cried aloud, Oh Lord, here I am, a proud self-centered prima donna. I am so miserable, oh Lord. I cannot go on like this any longer. I need you. I need you, Lord, and I need your forgiveness. Cleanse me, Lord, with your blood and forgive me. Oh, Lord, I surrender. I will follow. I will serve. And I will glorify you. Grant me your grace and peace and your assurance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Stop! 
performing Madame Butterfly at the Greater Miami Opera through a newspaper interview, I announced this will be my last performance as an opera star. I choose from this day forward to glorify the name of my Savior, my Lord, Jesus Christ, through the singing of a sacred music. Yes, I have chosen in my heart to sing sacred music, but I knew no one in the sacred field and very little sacred music. What would I do after this last performance? My spirit was cast down. Then, about 15 minutes before curtain call, a blue envelope was slipped under my dressing room door. Miss Sung Suk Lee, I would be honored if you would call me or have your agent call regarding the possibility of appearing on my show. With love in Christ, Diane Bish. Wow! He's a perfect timing! Even before my last opera began, he laid a new beginning before me which I didn't know or plan. It was his perfect timing. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So long he the way that he gave us his son. Who yielded his life on atonement for sin. And opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. The purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly obey, that moment may enter the heavenly way. Praise the Lord! Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord! Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you excerpts from a new musical drama on the life of Sung Suk Lee, soprano, an artist who has found the true joy of music and joy of living. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs>